Hello, it's Dana. Welcome back. Before I start, my lovely twin sister got me a Jamba Juice, and I do love me a Razzmatazz. And what's extra special that she knows about me is that she got it with no bananas. I don't like bananas in my smoothies. I don't know about y'all's, but this is yummy. So in this video, I'm going to be showing you a demonstration, a how-to, a do-it-yourself sugar scrub. The post-winter dry skin is done with, I'm done with it, so I'm ready for spring and I want to get my skin primed and ready for self-tanners or whatever else. So, I want to use a sugar scrub to scrub all that dead skin cells off. I know, lovely, right? And yeah, I can go purchase some out there, but I just don't know exactly what is in a, the sugar scrubs out there. And there's a lot of things that I'm very wary about what touches my skin, so I want to make my own sugar scrub. And I know exactly what is in it. It is actually just three items. Two that are basic and one is just a scent. So in my sugar scrub, this is all you need. Really, it's quite simple. You just need regular white sugar. Could be really brown sugar, raw sugar, the white sugar. It's up to your preference, but you don't have to go crazy on getting organic or or anything special just get something plain white sugar because it really does wash off fast so it's not absorbing into your skin it's the oils that you're applying that needs to be higher higher grade than normal so I have I'm using extra virgin olive oil you could use avocado oil you can use coconut oil you can use any other type of oils but I'm using olive oil and it has to be the first cold press when you're using extra virgin olive oil and I got mine at Costco. This, as you can tell, is at Safeway. So they're pretty much readable everywhere. So um, get the hundred, you know, organic, extra virgin olive oil first cold press. And then for the scents, they have they. It's easier to apply with the pure essential oils. Now, when you're purchasing your pure essential oils, make sure they're hundred um, percent. You don't want to get things that have a bunch of other ingredients because then you're not getting a hundred percent of the actual product that you're purchasing. So this one is the eucalyptus one because I'm hoping it'll clear up my sinuses and it reminds me of the Vicks Vapor Rub. So I'm really excited to try this. But make sure it's 100% pure essential oils when you're getting the scents. All right, to start this recipe, I need one cup of the sugar. So. And a quarter cup to about half a cup of oil. It depends on the texture. So we're going for a slushy but not wet consistency. So we'll see how much it takes. So we'll start off with a quarter cup and stir it together. So mine's still looking a bit dry. I'm just going to probably add an eighth, eighth of a cup. So I'm going to take half of this quarter cup more of olive oil. So as you can tell, this looks like a slushing. It smells pretty good too actually. <laughs> Something you could probably eat. And you actually could eat this since it's actual products of the kitchen. But we are going to now add our essential oils. And that takes about six to eight drops of it. So we're going to add that. One, two, three. All right, and mix that in together. All right, to store it, you just need to get a mason jar. And it's they're quite easy to find. They can, you can get them at Bed Bath & Beyond. Um, I think Target has them too. So just find a mason jar and we'll start filling it up. So it won't totally fill it up, but Right now, I'm going to um, store this away, but I'll demonstrate how to use it with the leftover in this bowl. So, so to store it, you can place it anywhere. Just try to avoid moist areas or, where it, or anywhere it can touch water because water is a good source of bacteria and we don't want bacteria in our sugar scrub because this can actually last for a long time. So just keep it, um, Handy in the bathroom, but not somewhere like in the shower or something, but at least handy in the bathroom so you know to use it. All right, I'm going to demonstrate how you would use sugar scrub. Normally, it would be coming out of this jar, and you would use a spoon to scoop out the amount that you want out because you don't want to put your fingers in there and all the moisture that's from your 
hands will just add bacteria and we don't want bacteria like I said so use a spoon to scoop out so since I had extra in the bowl I'm going to show you how to use it you make sure your hand is somewhat moist your whatever part you're massaging this onto and it could be from your neck down neck down to all the way to your feet nothing on your face this is not a, a facial scrub this is just a body scrub so make sure to keep that in mind then you just take some and you just start scrubbing away and you can feel the the sugar scrubbing away the dead skin and the oil is just nicely moisturizing your skin so you just keep going then you just go into the water and just wash it off and you'll feel the the sugar melting off your hand but you can feel the oil just being left onto your skin making it very smooth and nourishing and then you'll just dry it off make sure it's nice and dry technically your skin is now ready to go and it's moisturized because of the leftover oil that was in the scrub but I like to add extra moisture and make sure everything is just locks in. So I would suggest using a butter instead of a regular moisturizer. They are more emollient than others. So right now I've been using the Josie Marin's um, the Whipped Argan Oil Body Butter. Pretty awesome stuff, may I say. Pretty thick. And you just need a little to put on your skin and massage away. And then you are, your skin is ready for the sun and spring and summer. So I'm excited to be using this all over my body and getting healthy looking skin. You can see a difference, I'm hoping. So that was my do-it-yourself sugar scrub. I hope you like this demonstration. Hopefully it'll help and give you guys suggestions. Remember, it could be any pure essential oil scent. There's plenty of scents out there from lemon to bergamot to chamomile to, to lavender and everything else. So be creative. Until, I, until next time, be blessed. Bye.